Hey guys, what's up? Pat here from Mountain Sledder. Today with me is Moa, and we're gonna be testing out some of the practical knowledge and the training mode on these Bluetooth transceivers from Peeps. They're called the Powder BT and the Pro BT transceivers. Check it out. First, a little background on Peeps. They're an Austrian company. They were formed back in 1972, and their sole purpose or focus all along has been avalanche safety and that's it. They've had a lot of firsts along the way. They were the first three antenna transceiver, the first digital transceiver, the first electronic probe, the first electronic fan powered avalanche airbag, now the first to have Bluetooth technology in the transceivers. So what's cool about the Bluetooth technology, along with some advanced signal processing, you know, these companies are really working on how can we make this part of the rescue system more efficient. And with that, they've done what they can with the technology and they made the realization that the human component of the rescue is equally important. And so Peeps was thinking along the lines of how can we improve the human component of this transceiver search? And one way to do that is to have a more proficient searcher. So along with that, they've developed these training modules inside where you can do setup training scenarios to practice. And there's also a practical knowledge component the practical knowledge consists of a series of exercises that allow the users to practice and better understand how all transceivers in general work. So that's things like understanding field lines, understanding how performing a fine search works, probing, marking, basically all the components of a rescue. The practical knowledge section also gives you a better understanding of how this specific transceiver works and it gives you some fundamentals of avalanche rescue techniques in general. Just remember that the practical knowledge component does not replace a traditional avalanche course. You should always go out and do your avalanche course and then use these to refine your techniques. The training mode allows you to set up a rescue scenario which your friends can use to practice or you yourself can use to practice a rescue. The really cool thing about the Bluetooth technology is once those transceivers are buried or, or placed in your scenario, you can change which antenna is transmitting in that buried transceiver or as many of these Bluetooth compatible transceivers as you want to vary the different scenarios and the way that the rescuer will approach the transceiver in their search. So it creates a lot of different variety and interesting components to your practice. All right, so here's how to use the Bluetooth training mode with these transceivers. First of all, you're gonna to need to download the Peeps app. So go to your app store, download that onto your phone, and that's gonna set you up to use the Bluetooth. Then if you're gonna use these training modes, you're gonna need at least one of these Bluetooth transceivers so that you can bury it. And that's gonna give you the ability to turn it on, turn it off, or switch antennas while it's transmitting in your search scenario. Uh, the more you have, the more uh, complex of a scenario you can build. So you're gonna activate Bluetooth by holding down the mark button as you turn the device to on. going to show this little Bluetooth symbol on the display and that's how you know that you're in the Bluetooth mode. Now keep in mind that this is not going to function as a regular transceiver in Bluetooth mode so you're going to want to do this well away from any avalanche train. Now to connect the transceiver just go to your Peeps app and touch the little plus sign and then tap that transceiver listed on the app and that's going to connect it to Bluetooth. Okay let's set up a scenario. First we're going to find an appropriate place to practice. We're going to be well away from any avalanche train for an example a field like we have here. We're gonna bury the practice transceivers. In this case, we're gonna use the scenario provided with the device, but you can do this a million different ways. The only limitation is that they should be within a 10 meter radius of the device with the app on it. And that's a Bluetooth limitation, not the transceivers. Okay, running the scenario, go find the transceivers. As each is successfully probed, hit the timer to mark the time. You can now redo this scenario with the transceivers in a different orientation or other ones turned on or off, you decide. Once you're done training, don't forget to turn your transceiver off and then back on before you head into avalanche train. That's really important. If you forget to do that, the transceiver will revert to send after two hours as a backup fail safe. Okay, I'm here with Moa. We're gonna go bury these transceivers and then we're gonna run the scenario. So this is what we're gonna do. First of all, we have to turn the transceivers into Bluetooth mode so that they're gonna work when uh, they're buried. And we're gonna stick them inside a glove each so they don't get covered in water and snow. That kind of thing and of course we're going to put a little bit of a protective layer over top of them that way when we're probing we're not going to probe into the transceiver and damage it but there we go so fired in the glove there and we're ready to go let's go moa very tricky well we've got more cold than snow at this point in the season but we're going to make do
Okay, we've got our transceivers all buried now, so we're ready to try out this scenario. So first thing I'm gonna do is pop open my Peeps app and get into that. So inside my Peeps app, I'm gonna be able to see, first of all, the device list. It's gonna show the two transceivers that we buried. And we can make the decision which antenna we want that transceiver to transmit on, or if we don't want it to transmit at all. And that's gonna be really useful for having multiple people run through a scenario. We can change it up or having the same person do it twice and uh, that's going to make them come in at different angles and that sort of thing to those transceivers. On the next tab is the maps tab. So on there I can sort of do a visual representation of where we buried the transceivers. That's going to help me remember, okay, this, you know, this one was buried there, this one was buried there, and which one was found first in that example. Also, if I'm switching the orientation of those antennas, it's going to help me remember which one I'm messing around with. And we've got our stopwatch. This is from last time. So we're just going to reset that and now we're ready to run our scenario. So as soon as MOA takes off, I'm just going to press start and that's going to start the timer going. And when she finds that first one, we'll uh, record the hit and it's going to keep going because it knows that there's two of them. And so once we get to that second one, I'm going to mark the hit on that one as well. And then we've got all our times. Okay, now that we've finished our scenario, this time we can redo it. We don't need to dig up our transceivers again. We can just change which antenna is transmitting on the, each transceiver. We can turn one of them off. Um, the more transceivers we have that we can build into this scenario, the more complex we can make it. So that's really cool. So that's it for the training mode on the Peeps Bluetooth transceivers. It's really cool that they're building this Bluetooth technology into the transceivers. They're the first to do it and I think we'll see more along the way. But in the meantime, it's a really great way to get out there and work on that human component of the rescue and really refine and practice our skills in, a, in an easy way. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.